Hi friends, I'm Erin Mack and welcome back to my channel. First thing we're going to talk about is how I got bangs like every other white girl in lockdown <laughs> because your girl's basic. Not afraid to admit it. Hi, hello, I'm Erin and I'm basic. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're here to talk about how I made over my bedroom. That's really why we're here, not about my bangs. <laughs> this bedroom makeover took so long. Me and my husband have been in this apartment for two years and the bedroom aesthetic is not great. Yeah, so it's taken me a long time to figure out the bedroom. It's just, it's kind of small. The window is just super awkward. It's a long window, but it's not centered. It's off to the side and right next to the other wall. What am I supposed to do with that? It took me so long to figure out the bed placement. So first it was over here and I was like, oh, let me walk all the way around here to get in my side of the bed. So then we put it over here and then oh, boom, walk into the bed. And once again, woo, weird. And we didn't have room for our nightstands over here because there's a the door. There's a door, dumb. Okay, so then we put, no, we didn't put it over there because that can't go there. So our only option is put it under the awkward window. Why? So the only actual option is underneath this lopsided window, which you look at it and I want it to be symmetrical. I want it to just be over the bed, but it doesn't work like that. So to remedy that, I was gonna do this whole wall curtains to kind of create an illusion to make the bedroom window right above the bed, frame it, have the curtains cover ha half of the actual window and the other curtains covering the wall, but make it look like one really big window. So it kind of tricks your eye into thinking the window or the wall is symmetrical and the window is right above the bed. So that was the goal. We'll see if I did it or not. What was this? I don't know what that was. Who talks like that? Me, apparently. My inspiration was mince, mid, why can I never say mid-century? Mid? century. My inspiration was mid-century modern with, you know, some boho and I really really like the dark green accent wall trend that's going on right now, but I couldn't figure out what wall I wanted to paint. The so yeah, so the inspiration was green, mid-century, boho, and just to feel cozy. So this makeover has pretty much been going on for two years. We got a bed, we got those blue nightstands, and these really cool bulb marble lamps. And when I moved the bed underneath the window, which finally worked, I really wanted to keep those. And so trying to incorporate the lamps, the nightstands, the bed, and curtains to create this cool mid-century boho cozy vibe. <laughs> I feel like all of those are key words that you type in Pinterest. Uh, real original. Yeah, so I wanted to keep those to keep the budget down, but kind of bring more life into the space and make it more cohesive. The first thing we did was to hang the curtains and I was like, yes, white, I'll put green pillows, we'll do the accent wall on the other wall and we'll be good. So we hung up the curtains. figuring out that I hate the curtains. <laughs> they didn't work. They didn't work. I hated the white on white on white. It wasn't doing anything for me. Plus I didn't like the, the rings. They reminded me of shower curtain rings and I really didn't like that. They worked as blackout curtains, but that's about all they did. We kept the curtains up just to have the blackout curtains and we moved on to the dresser. We decided to keep it where it was, but we wanted to hang a mirror, put some stuff on the wall, make it look a little bit more, I don't know, like a grown-up's bedroom. <laughs> I think rugs are a great way to anchor a room, especially in your bedroom, underneath the bed. It just makes things more cozy, you know? Uh, so I did research on what rug size works with a king bed and the internet told me a five by seven and I, was, I measured it out and I thought it would work. Um, as you can see here, I feel like it's a little small, but 
I don't know, I think it works with this face, but if you're buying a rug, maybe go bigger. I also got a bench to put on the opposite wall of the window. Here, watch me build it. <laughs> That's how these videos work, right? Just watch me build stuff in like 20 times faster than normal. So I knew I didn't want to make this the accent wall with the green. So instead I decided to hang up some shelves. Shelves always give me trouble. Just watch. So we're hanging our shelves on this wall and you guys seem to like seeing me struggle. So I'm gonna, gonna show you one thing that we really struggle with, or at least I really struggle with when doing DIY projects. Anchors, using anchors. Ideally, when you're hanging stuff up, you want to nail or drill into a stud. When you don't have a stud, where you wanna hang your decor piece of, you're gonna use a wall anchor. These things have given me so much grief. A lot of decor will come with this anchor, which if you have drywall, that's fine. And they're like, oh, just screw it into the wall and you're set. Well, if you live in an old apartment that doesn't have drywall, this will not work for you. And you will be left with a huge <laughs> hole in your wall. I like to use these or a bigger version of this type of anchor. So what we do, we're gonna drill a hole first and it should be similar in size to this, maybe a little smaller. And we're gonna drill a hole and then hammer this <laughs> anchor into the hole. So let's do that. I'm not a professional. I just like my spaces to look pretty. Um, and <laughs> it's very evident that I don't know what I'm doing because, well, we messed up the anchors. Messed up the hole size for the anchors. And you know how I said anchors give me a lot of trouble? Well, so we made the drill bit size too big and at first it looked like it worked but then when we put in the shell it started to come out so what we're gonna do is fill all the holes up with a spackle or whatever it's called and go two inches up and do it all over again with the right size drill bit but we got this one right so <laughs> at least we don't have to do everything over again But we finally got them up and I think they look good. After we lived with the curtains, I still hated them and knew they had to go. So instead of a painting, I was like, why don't I get green curtains? And I got green velvet curtains. They're from Ikea, so they, they were fairly cheap. They, were, they weren't like super cheap, but they weren't crazy expensive like all the other stores are. But green velvet curtains, I love them so much. I ordered four panels and used three of them, one on one side of them and then two on the other side of the window where it's like the faux window and balance it out so it looks symmetrical. I've wanted a linen comforter for forever and so I was really excited to find this budget-friendly one from Amazon and I switched it out. I tried to do those slow-mo things like they do in like the really highly produced YouTube videos. I can't do that yet, but you know, we're learning. We're on a journey. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're here. So since I had the curtains and the lamps and the bedding, right where the window was. I didn't want a headboard because I felt like that would kind of clutter everything else up. So instead I framed the bed with these big oversized pillows that I found at Target. And I really love how the mustard works with the green and everything's jewel tones and the texture of the pillows with the tassels really give it that boho feel where the curtains have that glam mid-century vibe, but they work so well together because the colors go really well. I really like how it turned out. Also, I probably used too many tassels in this room, but you know, who cares? Okay, now let's add some finishing touches. Thank you. 
after two years in this bedroom, it's finally done. Let's see it. See how the pillows and the lamp and the window really frame the bed? I really feel like the curtains did a good job of tricking your eye to seeing it as symmetrical. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed my bedroom makeover. I'm so happy with it. It looks so much better. I feel so much more at home, at peace in the bedroom now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like and subscribe for more I don't know, me struggling through everything all the time content. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.